What's up, guys? I'm TPB Robinizer. Today, I am bringing you guys my SBL Season 1 Week 9 Battle. This is the last week of the SBL, and I'm going against Adam. Adam and Justin are fighting for the number one spot after I had my, like, two losing streak. They're fighting for the number one spot, and I'm just chilling here in, like, fourth place. And I want to beat Adam. I want to beat him. He's a tough opponent. He's a tough opponent. He has the kill leader in Lando T, and he's been on a tear. He's only he only has two losses. So, Adam's team, uh, you you might see why he's on a tear after you hear this. His team is pretty busted. Victini, Mega Scizor, Landris T, or Zoyu Pix, which is whoo crazy. Yu Yu, Nido King, Magneton, Rotom Heat, still pretty good. Uh, are you Milotic? Okay, Umbreon. That's also pretty busted. Two huge defensive threats, and then Noivern, which just outspeeds everything. And then Hurricane Boom versus Draco. You know, standard Noivern stuff. And then Enu, Enu he kind of lacks in his Mons. They're not very good. Pukamuku, it's it's actually really fat, but um, I can beat it pretty easily. Uh, Skuntank, it's a defogger. That's it. <laughs> and uh, Cricketune sets up sticky webs. Uh, you know, it gets Parish Song. That's it. His end picks aren't very threatening, but everything else is crazy. So, on his team, I expect Mega Scizor, because it's a monster. Land OT, because it's a monster. Nido King, it's a monster. And, uh,. Maybe Victini. He hasn't shown a liking for Victini. Maybe Rotom. It's got a decent enough matchup against my team. Um, I think one of the bulky waters is coming. Pukamuku or Milotic. And Umbreon could come because it's really fat. And then uh, Magneton because it traps my Skarmory. And kills it. So. Uh, what I... With this team, what I'm trying to do is... Out offense him while still being able to take on Mega Scizor and Lando, which are huge threats. So, this is a weird situation I'm in. But thankfully, I have these two mons which can run through his team Gengar and Sneasel. So, Gengar, Life Orb, uh, Max Attack, or Max Special Attack, a lot of speed investment and some HP. Uh, this speed set, Speed Victini. I don't think he has anything on his team that could that I can outspeed that is faster than Victini. Yeah, so. Whew. Excuse me. So this thing is Life Orb for attacks. Icy Wind for Landorus, possibly catching a uh, Nido King on the switch, but I don't know why why he would switch it in on Landorus. Uh, Hidden Power Fire for Scizor, Shadow Ball for Stab, and Thunderbolt for Pukamuku slash Milotic. Uh, Pukamuku can wall this thing except for Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 2 at KOs. Excuse me, I haven't ranked Calyx with Milotic. Um, yeah, so this thing is just here because it can do a lot of damage to everything. But it doesn't hit with these three coverage moves. Shadow Ball can hit very hard. And then uh, my other offensive mod. Sneasel. So, um, looking at his team, it's really weak to this dual stab. Victini dies. Lando dies. Nido King dies. Um, Noivern dies. Which are all of his offensive threats except for Scizor. All of them can just die. So, this thing, it's a really bad wall breaker. However, it can beat his offensive mons very handily. Um, and this is choice banded with max attack adamant. I can just hit that speed tier where I outspeed Victini without being, uh, well, still being adamant. So, um, Ice Shard. Banded Ice Shard will kill Landorus T if it doesn't intimidate me. Nido King, it two it KOs. It does like 70%, 80%, and Noivern dies. Uh, Icicle Crash is just my main stab move to hit, do damage. 
if his Lando's not scarfed, I can go for this. And so, like, if he intimidates me, Ice Shard won't kill. However, Ice Crash will. It also uh, hits his, like, it's, it's just good coverage. Because uh, I'm able to kill Lando and then get a decent chunk on anything coming in. Knock off. Um, Victini. Yeah. And it's knock off. Kills Victini. And nothing wants to switch in on a knockoff except for Mega Scizor. Mega Scizor is a great check to this mod. And then Pursuit, so I can catch the Victini on the switch. Um, yeah, so those are my two main offensive mods. They just destroy. Um, Vic er, Tapu Fini, why did I say Victini? Tapu Fini. Max defense, three attack, defog. I want a defog because I have a sneeze. That's the main reason. Um, HP fire uh, kills. Doesn't kill. It does a lot of damage to Scizor, so this it cannot switch in. Surf and Moonblast, the dual stab, can do a lot of damage to his team. Hits the uh, Rotom, Noivern, Lando, Dictini, Nido King. Uh, it doesn't hit his bulky waters, but outside of that, it hits everything which is really good um, max defense max HP so this thing can check Scizor very easily um, yeah and defog so that for it's just I have a sneasel and then if he brings sticky webs uh, just getting rid of it will help <clears throat> will help Zydog and everything else it'll just help him a lot and then uh, next up Masperit Defense, max defense again, max HP with HP fire. HP fire is my only offensive move on this because this is my scissor switch in. Yeah, uh, psychic type is my scissor switch in. But uh, this thing, it does half with an HP fire, which is actually really good because if I can get the damage off on it, then I can just click most moves and against scissor and do well. Um, Healing Wish because my offensive threats, if they get weak, I'm screwed. If I can, like, take Bullet Punch does so much damage to Gengar that if it's weakened just a little, it will beat it. Scizor will beat it. But if I can Healing Wish it up, then Gengar will beat Scizor. And, uh, yeah, U turn for just to be pivot and toxic because I want to get a toxic off on every single mod he has. Getting it off on Lando would be great or any of his bulk. It would be fantastic. Um, yeah, Skarmory. Uh, max defense again with max HP. This is yet another scissor check. And also, like, you'll notice he has Noivern and Nido King. And I guess Rotom, which are special. Victini can be special, but like, <laughs> it's so much better physical. Just having the create makes it ten times better than a special set. Um, yeah, but Nido King um, and Noivern are his main special threats, and they both get flamethrowers, so, so there's no point in being specially defensive for them. Um, yeah, Taunt. So Scizor can't uh, SD spikes because uh, Scizor, it helps against Scizor, can get damage I need on Nido King to kill with an Ice Shard. Um, yeah, and he just has, he has Victini, which uh, likes the U-turn around and then spikes can just get uh, good, <laughs> excuse me, good chip damage on him. And then uh, Taunt. Yeah, I already said Taunt. And then Brave Bird to just deal a lot of damage. Uh, Roost, because I don't have leftovers. Because I have Shed Shell in case he brings Mag Magneton. So I have Roost. And then Brave Bird. Because, uh, yeah. If Brave Bird does the recoil, then I can just push it all off. Uh, Dredagon. <laughs> uh, that's a reference to the NPC. I traded my Zygarde away for Dredagon, so I'm naming it Dredagon now. This is a very strange set. Max Tech Adamant, because again, 
I cannot speed Victini without while well, still being adamant. Thousand arrows. Uh, it's everything really hard. Outrage to break through his defensive core. Uh, Dragon Dance. Because it's essentially giving me a choice band and let it. I can't sweep with this mon. But if I can Dragon Dance enough, then Outrage will do a lot to everything. And Glare, because. Um, it paralyzes, except it can paralyze ground types. And if I paralyze Nido King or Landris, that's huge. That is huge, because those are two good choice scarfed mons that I can just paralyze. And I can outspeed for sure with Dragon Dance. Um, yeah. And then, being after a Dragon Dance, it'll be like having a Life Orb and a Choice Band at the same time. So, it's, it's pretty good pretty good um yeah that is gonna be it for my team i will see you guys next week with the battle um i am guaranteed for playoffs however it would be cool to be adam because it's this game is just it's for pride it's for pride we we both want to meet each other but that is gonna be it for you guys i will see you all tomorrow with the battle bye